final away game of the season, Scott. It's finished in a 3-2 win against Hemel Hempstead. Uh, are you happy just to see out that last away game with back-to-back -back wins, of course? We were talking already on Thursday night. I just almost forgot what day it was. Um, and it's all done now. Away-wise, you happy? Yeah, I think so. It's really nice to finish on a positive away from home um, in front of a really good away following as well. It was brilliant to see um, the amount of people behind the goal. Um, delighted to hear the final whistle because it was extremely hot out there. Um, it might not have felt it, but I think from it being so cold for the last few months and wet and windy, um, the heat probably got to a lot of players at the end. Um, so there's quite a few mistakes being made and things like that. Um, but yeah, delighted to obviously get the three points. Um, it was a bit of a frantic start to the game. I wanted the boys to be really brave and get on the ball and try and play. Um, and we got caught a few times. Uh, could have been 2-0 down and then we could have been 5-1 up. So, um, yeah, we showed a good reaction um, to obviously conceding the goal. Um, and then I thought we were really good for the for the rest of the first half. Um, and then, yeah, like second half, it was it was a little bit end-to-end. -end, but uh, we always looked a threat, I think, with the pace and power that we've got up top. We've started out with uh, another potential contender for goal of the season, which Aid's going to have to play catch-up on again now. Uh, it was a brilliant effort again, wasn't it, from Johnny? Yeah, I, um, as he was actually cutting in, I was stood next to uh, Michael Felivi, their striker. And as Johnny's gone to shoot, I've gone, no, 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 no. I went, oh my God, what a strike. So um, I thought he was too far out. But listen, Johnny's been fantastic all season. Um, he's popped up with another goal there and then he's popped up with a, a winner at the end. So uh, yeah, Johnny's got the brilliance that he can do that no one else can. Um, we call him a little magician. Um, he's great to watch at times. So um, yeah, great strike. Um, but there's yeah, a lot of positives today. We, having spun it round again, we made what four or five changes just to freshen it up. The boys wanted to go again. Um, a few of them got the hump with me, of course they have, because they want to play today, but just felt like it was the right thing to do. Having played 40 hours ago, um, a long journey down there, people getting home in the yeah, early hours of the morning. Um, unfortunately, today we've, we've got the result right, which means we've got the team selection right. Convenient, I'll just add to Johnny. Um, adding those two goals to his account takes him one above Nathan again after his two goals on Thursday. So it's, it's 18 goals for the season as well from a midfielder, which isn't, isn't something you see too often. Um, just how crucial has he been to our progress throughout the season? Yeah, he's been massive. Um, as everyone has, I, I can't complain about any of the lads. Um, I love them all to bits. They give me absolutely everything. They give the management team absolutely everything. Um, yeah, we're all disappointed that we've probably not been able to nip into those playoffs. Um, of course we are. But... In the grand scheme of things, um, I couldn't be more proud. I think um, they're an honest bunch. They're great to work with. Um, but obviously, going back to what you said about Johnny, 18 goals for the season, it's an incredible return. Um, and Johnny's got that. I know that he has. He did it at Woking for years, where he's a bit of a legend down there. Um, he was a goal-scoring midfielder. And that's the reason probably why Bakes and Unders brought him to the club. Um, and he had maybe a slow start, uh, but he's obviously had a, a really good season this year. Um, and one that I'm massively grateful for because he's popped up with some important goals and assists. Uh, throughout the season. And yet again, we've seen Trey step up, another goal, fifth of the season for him in, the, in a very short loan spell. Uh, it was a great finish again as well from him, wasn't it? Yeah, unbelievable finish. Um, he's obviously probably disappointed that he's maybe not got a couple more today as well. So um, his power and pace is frightening. I don't want to sound like a broken record, but he is so quick and he's, uh, he's claimed to be the fastest in the team um, ahead of Tyrese and David. So um, I probably believe him as well. He causes problems. Um, but he's run himself into the ground there and he's obviously had to come off at the end. Um, everyone was getting tired and leggy. I think Bayless came on and started dictating orders and shouting orders to people. Um, and his enthusiasm was annoying me because I was so tired and he's telling me to squeeze up the pitch. Come on, Scotty, get up. But it just showed um, everyone put in a real shift today um, in really difficult circumstances. Um, but yeah, delighted to get the win against a really good football club. Um, and obviously to catch up with people like Daus for a young manager, it's... it's great to be able to talk to him for the game and um, I sat in there with his staff and had half an hour with him um, and I feel privileged at times that I can actually sit with managers that have been there and done it and just pick their brains a little bit um, so he's been brilliant to me for over the, the past six or seven months when we played him at Dartford um, so yeah disappointed for him and for the football club here but I think they'll have enough to stay up I really do uh, they've got some really good players. We saw as well another surprise change in goalkeeper today. Is there any latest on what the situation is with Dan? Yeah, Dan's back sort of seized up. Um, he just said after playing against Taunton on Thursday night um, and the travel down there and back, that his back was a little bit tight. Fortunately for us, we've got Hugo. Um, he's been absolutely brilliant since he's come in and helped us out. Um, so I have no dramas there. Hugo's actually carrying a bit of a knock as well. So at one point I thought we might have to bring Ryan North in. Um, and I would have done it happily. I think Ryan's a really good... Um, capable young goalkeeper um, so 
that was on the sort of agenda yesterday. Um, but Hugo said that he was he was good to go. So we're very lucky that we've got three goalkeepers um, that are all more than capable, I'm sure, of, of playing for us. Um, so it's great to have. Just before then, we talk about the final game of the season. I just wanted to ask you, uh, that's 23 away games done now. What's your assessment on the performance of the Rebels away from home? Cool. Putting me on the spot. Um, <laughs> some brilliant days, some really frustrating days, um, some indifferent days. Um, I don't know how many points we've got away from home now. Um, I'm guessing it would be around 25, maybe. I'm not sure. Um, I did look at it the other day. I'm a statistician. Um, I'm crazy for my numbers and stats. But I think for us is that because our home form's been so strong, um, it's allowed our away form um, to be not as strong, but looking into next season maybe if we can keep our home form good we need to improve our away form because ultimately that's what gets you into the playoffs um but i think it's been good overall we've had some really good away days i think the supporters have enjoyed them as well which is which is great to see and i've read things on facebook and twitter that they've had an enjoyable season following us around the country um so yeah no, i think it's been good but we obviously know what we need to do going into next season um we've shipped too many goals we've scored a bundle of goals um which i didn't expect um, but the way that we're trying to play football at the moment um, and the way that Chrissy coaches them, the way that Yella talks to them, I talk to them, um, yeah, we just need to make sure that we keep that attacking prowess but maybe tighten up at the back. Um, but listen, it's, it's all baby steps, learning curves, learning all the time, all of us. Um, so yeah, overall, I think we've, we've done pretty well away from home, um, but there's always room for improvement. And finally then, we are going to talk about briefly that Welling United home game next Saturday, of course. We want as many people to get along to try and see if the Rebels can keep hold of that 23 uh, unbeaten streak now at Arbor Park. Is that important for you, just to try and finish out the season with that last home game and get the win? It's the most important thing. I'm desperate to go unbeaten until the end of the season. I just said to the lads in there, after 23 games is the equivalent of a whole season um, at home in the league unbeaten. Um, there's 20 other, 23 other teams in our league. I know that the first four games of the season that we lost at home, um, but the teams that we played then, I think Dover, Torquay, Worthing, Tunbridge, if you replace them with Ebbsfleet, Grimsby, Salisbury, I'm trying to think who the other one is, um, that's a hell of an achievement from the boys. And I'm desperate to do it. Um, we'll make sure that we approach it in the right way. We'll pick our strongest team for that game. Um, and I desperately hope that we can break that record. I think it's 15-62, is it? Um, I think that is something that we're capable of doing. I know the club are doing a lot this week to try and make sure that that happens. Um, and I'd love it for not only for people to come to a good football match with a good attendance and an atmosphere, but I'd love it for the boys as well, um, just to sort of say well done to them this season. Um, I'm so proud of them, I really am. Um, they've given me absolutely everything, like I've said, and fallen just a little bit short um, in people's minds at the wrong time. But if someone said to us at the beginning of the season, falling short is being in chance with the playoffs with the penultimate game of the season, then listen, I think they've done extremely well. Thanks again for your thoughts all season long away from home, Scott, and uh, we'll see you next Saturday to see if we can clinch that unbeaten run. Fingers crossed, Con. Cheers, mate. Thank you.